everyone so i am here with a game called back to the future now this game is based on the movies back to the <laughs> back to the future which i'm sure you guys have all seen and if not then you need to watch them um now this game is by the same people that made sorry i'm just moving the mic um this game is by the same people that made the walking dead games and wolf among us things like that but we'll go ahead and play this one. This is out before them and it's still a story based one. I've only played like the first maybe half hour, 45 minutes or so. I've not played much at all. Um, and it is like got different episodes and things just like Walking Dead and stuff. So we'll go ahead and get started. So before we begin, would you like to see notifications by Marty has a new goal? Yeah. Yes, I would. <laughs> all right. So I hope you all all like this game. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. No. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, 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 okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the... car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me! The car! The car! If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Watch this! Watch this! Uh, okay. Where's the car? <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Ow! Doc, what would happen to the car? Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! I sent him into the future! One minute into the future, to be exact, and at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine! <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. What are you talking about? A time machine? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Uh ooze. Uh, Doc? Huh, oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, wh what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Okay. So we need to get the notebook from the toolbox. Notebook, notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's 
mass equals i times z and e equals the square root of z times c squared um doc shouldn't we get out of here before the libyans show up uh doc Great Scott! Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake! Doc! No! I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! What? Marty, is everything okay? No. Yeah, Mom, I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. So many clocks. Oh, poor Einstein. <laughs> I do hope <laughs> I do hope you saw all like this game. I think it'll be really good. Dad! Are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's doc stuff. The city has no right now, to Now, son, I know you're upset. But your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty! Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... ...remembering. Select items around the lab to make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous lying around. Okay, so. Have a little look at poor Einstein's bowl. I miss Einstein. Oh. Hey, let me- Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Okay. Hmm. Let's have a look at this. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Let's make some noise. It 
It took me forever to repair oh, this thing after I blew it out last that. time. No. <laughs> How some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies? No. All right, I've kind of forgotten what you're meant to do, but we're gonna talk to George. Hey, Dad. Uh. What's Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff, but I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just <clears throat> weird stuff yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. Uh, okay. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know- Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. Okay, um... Let's just leave. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. What is that noise? I don't like it. It's like a buzzing noise. Can you guys hear that as well? Or is that my earphones? <laughs> Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff. Uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? That was a joke. Oh, ha. But really, can I? No, nah, I think I'll hold on to it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to- Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Ah. Okay, well, that's kind of irritating. Um, let's talk to Biff. Hey, Biff. Um, the notebook is worthless. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. Yeah, then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Um, you wouldn't understand the notebook. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? Uh, no, I'm calling you stupid. <laughs> um, okay, the notebook... Yeah, we'll buy it. I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh, Not enough. All right. Um. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What? Is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. Okay, the notebook reminds me of Doc. Then. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. I do not like this guy. Let's just leave him alone. Ah, uh, never mind. All right. Uh, let's go see this thingy over here. 
Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Okay. What's this? Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> well, that smells like beef stew. <laughs> he probably made beef stew in it then, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to talk to Biff. All right, we'll go and see what this thing in the box is all about. Hey, Dad, wh why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. All right. Where'd you put it, though? Has he still got it? You've picked up Marty's... Oh, <laughs> Duh, uh, I also read this. You've picked up Marty's guitar left click on the blinking inventory button. Uh, okay. So we've got our guitar. Right, previous item. Photos of George. <laughs> Alright, so let's come out of here. Um. Oh, what have I done? Took me forever oh, to repair this thing after I, I blew it out last connect. time. And now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Mm-hmm. I want to connect the guitar. <laughs> yeah. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey look, it's Chuck Butthead! Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> You're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. All right. Um... Okay, maybe if I turn it up. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Now that is a dangerous amp. All right, I think we need to say to George that we can fight our own battles. Hey, Dad. Um, I can fight my own. About Biff, Dad. I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Okay. Let's come out of here. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Alright, and we'll pick up the guitar again. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming him up for me, butthead. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Rock on, Biff. <laughs> oh, shit. Yay! Uh, Doc, where are you? Search for clues as to where Doc's um whereabouts so let's see i guess it would make sense to search the car right doc
Oh. Einstein! Yay! Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? No. A shoe. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Okay. Marty? Ah! Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity. And despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now. Or then. Or, uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or oh, was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back. Or, or forward. To whatever it is, I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right. Last Time Departed. Last Time Departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Aww. Oh, okay. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. Okay. Uh, let's come out here then. We'll go and see the doggy. Einstein. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Alright, um, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and show him the show. What do you know about this shoe, Einie? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Yay! So we're off! So what I think we'll do is we'll go ahead and end this part here. So I hope you all enjoy this game. And... Hang on. Yeah, and I will speak to you all soon. Bye everyone.